In this problem, we're told a rocket takes off from Earth's surface, accelerating straight up at 72 meters per second squared. Calculate the normal force acting on the astronaut of mass 85 kilograms, including his spacesuit. So imagine this right here is our rocket. It's accelerating upwards, right, at 72 meters per second. We have this astronaut in there, right, and so we know his mass is 85 kilograms, right? So what we're trying to do is solve for the normal force acting on the astronaut. So in order to solve this problem and find the normal force, the first thing you always want to do is just draw a free body diagram, label all the forces acting on it. So, right, so we have this force mg that's going to be pulling him down, right? The force due to gravity of him sitting in the uh, in the rocket, right? But mg, he's also going to have a normal force that's acting up towards him, right? Because he's probably sitting down, so there's going to be some force acting up, right, pushing uh, the chair up against him, right? So that's what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for f sub n. So how do we do that? So the way we do this is by taking the sum of the forces in the y direction, right? And when I say y direction, right, you imagine this as an x and y axis. Essentially, the sum of the forces acting straight up, right, like this. So that's what we're trying to find, okay? What is the forces in the y direction equal? So it's going to be equal to ma, right? And the reason that is is because we know uh, force equals ma, right? So the resultant force is equal to the mass times the acceleration, okay? And so we know his acceleration. He's accelerating, right? So it's equal to ma, right? So... Since we know the sum of the forces in the y equal ma, what we do is we set the forces in the y direction actually equal to ma. So let's add up all the forces. So in the y direction, what forces do we have acting? Right, so we have f sub n, and it's going upwards. And when something goes upwards, we label it positive. If it's going downwards, we label it negative. So ma is going to be equal to f sub n, right? And then minus mg, because mg is going down. Right, so we just took the sum of the forces, right? All the forces added up, and then we set it equal to ma. Right, and what should this tell you is if we add mg to the other side, right? The normal force is just going to be equal to his mass times gravity plus his mass times the rate at which he's accelerating. And I'm going to factor out an m from these. So f sub n is just going to be equal to his mass multiplied by gravity plus acceleration, right? So all I'm doing is multiplying it out, right? Just factor out an m. But yeah, so this right here is our formula, right? Because we know his mass. His mass is 85, okay? We also know the gravity, right? Which is just 9.8, right? Acceleration due to gravity plus the rate at which he's accelerating, which is 72, right? And so this right here is the formula you're going to use. So just plug this in your calculator, do 85 times 9.8 plus 72. And when you do this, you'll get 6953. So 6953, this is going to be your normal force. And right, it's measured in newtons because it's normal force. So F sub n, 6953 newtons. But yeah, so this right here is going to be the normal force acting on the astronaut. Uh, but yeah, so this is your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.